Gabriel at Electric 106 725. Well, Rocky and Rambo joining the Teamsters to fight drugs. Just what we needed. Sylvester Stallone is the new national spokesman for the Teamster Crusade for a Drug Free America. Might even narrate a documentary by the group on drug abuse. He got an honorary gold membership card Tuesday from Teamster President Jackie Presser. Jackie has his own problems. He's under federal indictment for racketeering. <laughs> hey! The guy like Rambo on your side, how can you lose? Nick Ashford, Valerie Simpson, count your blessings at Electric 106. For Valerie Simpson with Electric Charger. Oh, I just love that song. This Ross Britton at 7.30. Electric. W-T-R-K. Electric 106. How does he do that? That's uh, Otis Williams. Happy birthday, too. He's 44 today. Otis Williams of the Temptations. And that is the Temptations with an electric charger. It's 735, 25 before 8. This is Ross Britton. Just looking at the TV schedule tonight. Can you believe it? Uh, Joan Rivers has Nancy Reagan and Lucille Ball. We mentioned that earlier. But here's the competition, The Tonight Show, with guest host Bill Cosby. But listen to his guest, Carmen McRae, comedian Bob Melvin, who... The Dirty Dozen Brass Band. And here's the big one, Robbie Gasser and his Seals. <laughs> I, I may just have to watch Nancy Reagan. Somebody's going to win the grand prize in the Xerox Easy Business Decision Sweepstakes. And it might as well be you. you know you're getting the most for your money. Shop Acme. You know a great bargain when you see one. Electric 106 time is 23 away from 8. If, you, if I seem distracted this morning, it's because every morning this week, the roofers are, are up on the roof directly above my head, um, drilling and pounding and stuff like that. So if the show sounds a little disjointed or something, it's, uh, it's because of that. And I've tried everything I know to, uh, to make them to stop while I'm trying to talk here. Wait a minute. Hand me that, hand me that megaphone. Hey, up there on the roof, I got a gun. No, that didn't work. Listen, here's Sam Clover. You listen to him, and I'll try and get them to stop. We've got some major delays of coming in from New Jersey north on the 42 freeway. It's bumper to bumper from Blenheim. That's Route 168 all the way up to Route 295. I'm getting on to 95. I'm Sam Clover for WTRK. Now here's Sam Yudkin with Electric 106 Sports. Uh, Ross, there's seven guys outside. They say they're roofers. They want to talk to you? Hey, if you're not careful, I'll send Brian Murphy's ugly girlfriend out. Ooh, that's a punishment worse than death. Hey, hey, and good morning. Morning. Flyers have announced the signing of defenseman Brad McCrimmon to a one-year contract. Now, McCrimmon had been suspended back in September for refusing to negotiate. Well, it might have worked out. Price tag on his contract, quarter of a million buckaroonies. Oh. Brad could be on the ice tonight when the club hosts the Nordiques. U.S. Olympic gold medalist Jackson Schultz has died at the age of 89. Now, he won the gold medal for the 200-meter run in the 1924 Olympics. He lost, however, the 100-meter run to a gentleman named Harold Abrahams, who was the, and that whole race, that whole thing, was the inspiration for the movie Chariots of Fire. Yes, and you know, the cap for that, he never saw the movie because they pronounced his name wrong throughout the movie. <laughs> true. True that's story. Hor that's horrible. Here's the guy doing the whole thing. Saturday Ross was to have been the scheduled start of the National Women's Basketball Association 18 roster, but financial problems push the date back. If they're going to try to start up December 5th now, they need $200,000 from investors by next week if they're going to operate at all. And when Penn State takes on geez, listen to that noise. When Penn State takes on Notre Dame November 15th, there's going to be a VP in the stands. Literally, Vice President George Bush will stop by to watch the game. Hey, stop or I'll send Vice President Bush up there. That's going to be the same problem because they're not going to know who he is either. Right. either the people go, we have a Vice President, man. Who is, who is it? I don't know. Why. I even try. It's rough all over us. I'm Sam Yudkin, working with a smile on WTRK. Electric 106 Weather Mix. We have a, wait a minute. We have a sunny and warm day today. 
Higher around 64. Clear and cool tonight. Low 33. Electric current temperature 53. WTRK. Electric 106. One, two, one, two, three, four. Electric Current 10 by Billy Joel. It's a matter of trust. 16 minutes away from 8 o'clock. This is Ross Britton. Well, they're going to tie the knot on cheers. Sam and Diane will say I do. It take place springtime, the final episode of the season. However, there's a little problem. Shelly Long, who plays Diane, says she wants to leave after this episode. <laughs> I guess that's what, what's meant by giving up everything to get married. Brian Murphy, our 3 to 7 jock, will be saying tomorrow night at the Bebop Cafe. He'll be in costume. <laughs> Electric Current 9, this is Ross Britton. WTRK. Don Johnson from Miami Vice, Electric Current 18. Seems like an appropriate time to do this item. Coast Guard and Customs agents expected a furniture shipment, discovered 4,620 pounds of cocaine. Wholesale value more than 46 million, at least 10 times that on the street. They were checking two 40-foot-long containers that held sofas and chairs, spotted false compartments inside the merchandise, then looked for, uh, further and found the cocaine. W-G-R-K. Jackson with Electric Current 7. This is Ross Britton. It is. Four minutes away from 8 o'clock. Gregory Abbott with an electric charger. It's 8 o'clock. This is Ross Britton still having trouble believing. The story about the topless car wash in Des Moines, Iowa. Daryl LaFon's garage, Daryl's Grease and Go, struggling business until he hired two women to vacuum and clean cars while they were topless. I can just see driving in there. Surprise, surprise, surprise. But hey, don't turn on those windshield wipers. Uh Uh-uh. W-T-R-K, Philadelphia. Current 5, 805. This is Ross Britton. One thing I will not be doing today is tuning into MTV because they are presenting 24 hours of those amateur videos that were submitted by viewers. They have over a thousand of them for the True Blue contest. So I wanted to hear Madonna over and over and over again. Well, then again, how much has changed? It is a law of human nature as people grow. They change. For more great values during their 75th anniversary celebration. WTRK Electric 106. David Brenner for Taco Bell. Whenever my friend Didi lost a bet to me, he'd say, come on, Brenner, double or nothing. See for just $1.99, only at Taco Bell. Electric 106 time is 8.06. Now let's check in the shadow traffic and find out how Sam Yudkin, or Sam Clover is doing. Traveling on the West Pennsylvania Turnpike, bumper to bumper. Begins right at the Philadelphia Interchange, number 28, to two miles west of Philadelphia. to save 168, right at 295. I'm Sam Clover for WTRK. Now, here's Sam Yudkin with the Electric 106 Sports. Hey, 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 Flyers hit the ice at the Spectrum Ross tonight. To skate against the Quebec Nordiques, look for the newly re-signed Brad McCrimmon oh to boy. make an appearance. The AP All-Star Baseball team was announced and picking up the honors at third base. Who else but the Phil's own Mike Schmidt. Padres back in the news. First, Larry Bell was made the 
their manager. Now there's dirt on pitcher Lamar Hoyt. Uh oh. He was nabbed by police with what was called a controlled substance. Controlled? Yes. <laughs> Puts you out of control, though. Third time this year, Hoyt had been involved in a drug related incident. He was set free on $25,000 bail, which isn't a lot he makes. A million a year. Yeah, I'm sure he's good for it. <laughs> yeah, really. San Diego Chargers coach Don Coriel is thrown in the towel. He resigned after his ninth season with the team. The coach said he knew it was over when the Chargers were beaten by the Eagles. Mm-hmm. Are the Eagles that bad? And the Red Sox drew a massive crowd in Boston for a loser's parade. Roger Clemens picked up most applause, not to mention a nice sum of dinero. Raj and the rest of the team earned about $75,000 apiece for that quote-unquote World Series appearance. The Mets, who won it, bagged about $86,000 apiece, which isn't a lot. Because like $86,000 in New York will get you about uh, seven hours of indoor parking. Yes, yeah, about right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Sam Yudkin on WTRK. Why well, that the truth? Electric 106. $300 a month. It does go fast. Sunny and warm today. High 64. Clear and real cold tonight. Going down to 33. So move the plants back indoors. Sunny, a bit cooler tomorrow. The high just at 58. Electric current temperature, 54. WTRK. Electric 106.